So hello everyone and welcome to Nido Media. Today we are going to start with audio books of biology and we are starting with chapter 8 cell the unit of life. Now as you might be listening this alpha wave study music is being played behind your ears to make you concentrate on your study. And uh, if you want time stamps for each topic it will be provided either in the description or in the comment box pinned below. Okay so let's get started. Chapter 8 Cell the unit of life When you look around you see both living and non-living things you must have wondered and asked yourself what is it that makes an organism living or what is it that an inanimate thing does not have of life all living organisms all organisms are composed of cells some are composed of a single cell and are called unicellular organisms while others like us composed of many cells are called multicellular organisms 8.1 what is a cell unicellular organisms are capable of number 1 independent existence and number 2 performing the essential functions of life anything less than a complete structure of a cell does not ensure independent living hence cell is the fundamental structural and functional unit of all living organisms anton von leeuwenhoek first saw and described a life cell robert brown later discovered the nucleus invention of the microscope and its improvement leading to electron microscope revealed all the structural details of the cell 8.2 cell theory in 1838 matthias sheldon a german botanist examined a large number of plants and observed that all plants are composed of different kinds of cells which form the tissues of the plant at about the same time theodore squan in 1839 a british zoologist studied different types of animal cells and reported that cells have a thin outer layer which is today known as plasma membrane he also concluded based on his studies on plant tissues that presence of cell wall is a unique character of plant cells on the basis of this squan proposed the hypothesis that bodies of animals and plants are composed of cells and products of cells Sheldon and Squan together formulated the cell theory. This theory, however, did not explain as how new cells were formed. Rudolf Virchow, in 1855, first explained that cells divided and new cells are formed from pre-existing cells. That is, he modified the hypothesis and overview of cell. We have earlier observed cells in an onion peel or human cheek cells under a microscope. Let us recollect their structure. Onion cell which is a typical plant cell has a distinct cell wall as its outer boundary and just within it is the cell membrane. Cells of the human cheek have an outer membrane as the delimiting structure of the cell. Inside each cell is a dense membrane bound structure called nucleus. This nucleus contains the chromosome which in turn contain the genetic material DNA. Cells that have membrane bound nuclei are called eukaryotic whereas cells that lack a membrane bound nucleus are called prokaryotic. In both prokaryotic and eukaryotic cells a semi fluid matrix called cytoplasm as prokaryotic. Within the cell ribosomes are found not only in cytoplasm but also within the two organelles chloroplast and mitochondria and on rough ER. Animal cells contain other non-membrane bound structures called centrosome which help in cell division. Cells greatly in size, shape and activities. For example, mycoplasmas, the smallest cells are only 0.3 micrometer in length, while bacteria could be 3 to 5 micrometer. Largest isolated single cell is the ostrich of an egg. Sorry, egg of an ostrich. Among multicellular organisms, human's red blood cells are about 7.0 micrometer in diameter. Nerve cells are some of the longest cells. Cells also vary greatly in shape. They may be disc-like, polygonal, columnar, 
cuboid, thread-like or even irregular. The shape of a cell may vary with the function they perform. 8.4 Prokaryotic Cells The prokaryotic cells are represented by bacteria, blue-green algae, mycoplasma and PPLO that is pleuronemonia-like organisms. They are generally smaller and multiply more rapidly than the eukaryotic cells. They may vary greatly in shape and size. The four basic bacteria are bacillus that is rod-like, coccus, spherical, vibrio, comma-shaped and spirulum, spiral. The organization of the prokaryotic cell is fundamentally similar even though prokaryotes exhibit a wide variety of shape and functions. All prokaryotes have a cell wall surrounding the cell membrane except in mycoplasma. The fluid matrix filling the cell is the cytoplasm. There is no well-defined nucleus. The genetic material is basically naked, not enveloped by a nuclear membrane. In addition to the genomic DNA, that is the single cro chromosome circular DNA, many bacteria have small circular DNA outside the genomic DNA. These smaller DNA are called plasmids. The plasmid DNA confirms certain unique phenotypic characters to such bacteria. One such character is resistance to antibiotics. In higher classes, you will learn that this plasmid DNA is nuclear membrane. 8.4.1 Cell Envelope and Its Modifications Most prokaryotic cells, particularly the bacterial cells, have a chemically complex cell envelope. The cell envelope consists of a tightly bound three-layered structure that is the outer mode glycocalyx followed by the cell wall and then the plasma membrane. On the each layer of the envelope performs distinct function, they act together as a single protective unit. Bacteria can be classified into two groups on the basis of the differences in the cell envelope and the manner in which they respond to the staining procedure developed by Graham. Whereas those that take up the Gram stain are Gram positive by the extensions of plasma membrane help in cell wall formation, DNA replication and distribution to daughter cells. They also help in respiration, secretion processes to increase the surface area of plasma membrane and enzymatic content. In some prokaryotes like cyanobacteria, there are other membranous extensions into the cytoplasm called chromatophores which contain pigments. Bacterial cells may be motile or non-motile. If motile, they have thin filamentous extensions from the cell wall called flagella. Bacteria shows range in number and arrangement of flagella. Bacterial flagellum is composed of three parts, filament, hook and basal body. The filament extends from the 8.4.2 ribosomes and inclusion bodies. In prokaryotes, ribosomes are associated with the plasma membrane of the cell. They are about 15 nanometer by 20 nanometer in size and are made of two subunits 50S and 30S units which when present together form 70S prokaryotic ribosomes. Ribosomes are the site of protein synthesis. Several ribosomes may attach to single mRNA and form a chain called polyribosomes or polysome. The ribosomes of polysome translate the mRNA into proteins. Inclusion bodies. Reserve material in prokaryotic cells are stored in the cytoplasm in the form of inclusion bodies. These are 0.5 eukaryotic cells. The eukaryotes include all the protists, plants, animals and fungi. In prokaryotic cells there is an extensive compartmentalization of cytoplasm although sorry through the presence of membrane bound organelles. Eukaryotic cells possess an organized nucleus with a nuclear envelope. In addition, eukaryotic cells have a variety of complex locomotory and cycloskeletal structures. Their genetic material is organized into chromosomes. All eukaryotic cells are not identical. Plant and animal cells are different 
as the former processes cell walls plastids and a large central vacuum tubes which are present which are absent in almost all plant cells let us now look at individual cell organelles to understand their structure and functions 8.5.1 cell membrane the detailed structure of the membrane was studied only after the advent of electron microscope in 1950s meanwhile chemical studies on the cell membrane especially in human red blood cells enabled the scientists to deduce the possible structure of plasma membrane these studied showed that cell membrane is mainly composed of lipids and proteins the major lipids are phospholipids that are arranged in a bilayer also lipids are arranged within the membrane with the polar head towards the outer side and the hydrophobic tails towards the inner side this ensures that the non polar tail of saturated hydrocarbons is protected from the aqueous in later biochemical investigation clearly revealed that the cell membranes also possess protein and carbohydrate the ratio of protein and lipid varies considerably in different cell types in human beings the membrane of the erythrocyte has approximately 52% protein and 40% lipids depending on the ease of extraction membrane proteins can be classified as integral and peripheral peripheral proteins lie on the surface of the membrane while integral proteins are partially or totally buried into the membrane an improved model of the structure of cell membrane was proposed by singer and nicholson in 1972 widely accepted as fluid mosaic model according to this the quasi fluid nature of lipid enables lateral movement of proteins within the overall bilayer this ability to move within the membrane is measured as its fluidity the fluid nature of membrane is also important from the point of view of functions like cell growth formation of intercellular junctions secretion endocytosis cell division etc one of the most important functions of the plasma membrane is the transport of molecules across it the membrane is selectively permeable to some molecules present on either side of it many molecules can move briefly across the membrane without any requirement of energy and this is called the passive transport neutral solutes may move across the membrane by the process of simple diffusion along with the concentration gradient that is from higher concentration to the lower water may also move across this membrane from higher to lower concentration movement of water by diffusion is called osmosis as the polar molecule cannot pass through the non polar lipid layer 8.5.2 cell wall as you may recall a non living rigid structure called the cell wall forms an outer covering for the plasma membrane of fungi and plants cell wall not only gives shape to the cell and protects the cell from mechanical damage and infection it also helps in cell to cell interaction and provides barrier to undesirable macromolecules as we have cell wall made up of cellulose galactans mannans and minerals like calcium carbonate while other in plants it consists of cellulose hemicellulose pectins and proteins the cell wall of a young plant cell the primary wall is capable of growth which gradually diminishes and in terms of its structure and function many of these are considered together as an endomembrane system because of their functions are coordinated the endomembrane system include endoplasmic reticulum golgi complex lysosomes and vacuoles since the function of the mitochondria chloroplast and peroxisome are not coordinated with the above components these are not considered as part of endomembrane system 8.5.3.1 the endoplasmic reticulum er electron microscopic studies of eukaryotic cells reveal the presence of a 
network or reticula of tiny tubular structures scattered in the cytoplasm that is called the endoplasmic reticulum hence er divides the intracellular space into two distinct compartments that is luminal inside er and extraluminal cytoplasm compartments the er often shows ribosomes attached to their outer surface the endoplasmic reticulum bearing ribosomes on their surface is called rough endoplasmic reticulum in the absence of ribosomes they appear smooth and are called smooth endoplasmic reticulum 8.5.3.2 golgi apparatus camillo golgi first observed densely stained reticular structures near nucleus they were later named golgi bodies after him they consist of many flat disc shaped sacs or cisternae of 0.5 micrometer to 1 micrometer diameter these are stacked parallel to each other varied number of cisternae are present in golgi complex the golgi cisternae are concentrically arranged near the nucleus with distinct convex cis or the forming face and convex concave trans or the maturing phase the cis and the trans phase of the organelle are entirely different but interconnected the golgi apparatus principally performs the functions of packaging materials to be delivered either to the intracellular targets or secreted outside the cell materials to be packaged in the form of vesicles from the er fuse with the cis phase of the golgi apparatus and move towards the maturing phase this explains why golgi apparatus remains in close association with the endoplasmic reticulum a number of proteins synthesized by ribosomes on the endoplasmic reticulum are modified in the cisternae of the golgi apparatus 8.5.3.3 lysosomes these are membrane bound vesicular structures formed by the process of packaging in golgi apparatus the isolated lysosomal vesicles have been found to be very rich in almost all types of hydrolytic enzymes hydrolases are lipases proteases carbohydrates optimally active at the acidic ph these enzymes are capable of digesting carbohydrates proteins lipids and nucleic acids 8.5.3.4 vacuoles the vacuole is the membrane bound space found in the cytoplasm it consists of water sap excretory product and other materials not useful for the cell the vacuole is bound by a single membrane called tonoplast in plant cells the vacuole can occupy up to 90% of the volume of the cell in plants the tonoplast facilitates the transport of number of ions and other materials against concentration gradient into the vacuole hence the concentration is significantly higher in the vacuole than in the cytoplasm in amoeba the contractile vacuole is important for osmoregulation and excretion are formed by engulfing the food particles 8.5.4 mitochondria mitochondria unless specifically stained are not visible under the microscope the number of mitochondria per cell is variable depending on the physiological activity of the cell in terms of shape and size also considerable degree of variability is observed typically it is sausage shaped or cylindrical having a diameter of 0.2 to 1 micrometer and length 1 to 4.1 micrometer each mitochondrion is a double membrane bound structure with the outer membrane and the inner membrane dividing its lumen distinctly into two aqueous compartments that is the outer compartment and the inner compartment the inner compartment is filled with a dense homogeneous substance called matrix the outer membrane forms the continuous limiting boundary of the organelle the inner membrane forms a number of enfoldings called the cristae towards the matrix the cristae increases the surface area 
the two membranes have their own specific enzymes associated with the mitochondrial function mitochondria are the sites of aerobic respiration they produce cellular energy in the form of atp hence they are called powerhouses of the cell the matrix also possesses single circular dna molecule a few rna molecule ribosomes and the components required for the synthesis of proteins the mitochondria divide by fission 8.5.5 plastids plastids are found in all plant cells and in euglenoids these are all easily observed under microscope as they are large they bear some specific pigments thus imparting specific colors to the plants based on the type of pigments plastids can be classified into chloroplast chromoplast and leucoplast chloroplasts contain chlorophyll and carotenoid pigment which are responsible for trapping light energy essential for photosynthesis in the chromoplast fat soluble carotenoid pigments like carotene xanthophyll and others are present this gives the part of the plant a yellow orange or red color the leucoplast are the colorless plastids of weight fats whereas the alleoplast store proteins majority of the chloroplast of the green plant are found in mesophyll cells of the leaves these are lens shaped oval spherical discoid or even ribbon like organelles having variable length and width the number varies from one per cell of the chlamydomonas a green alga to 20 to 40 per cell in mesophyll like mitochondria chloroplasts are also double membrane bound of the two the inner chloroplast membrane is relatively less permeable space limited by the inner membrane of the chloroplast is called the stroma a number of organized platen membrane sacs called thylakoids are present in the stroma thylakoids are arranged in sacs like the piles of coin called grana or the integranal thylakoids in addition there are flat membranous bound tubules called the stroma lamella connecting the thylakoids of the different grana the membrane of the thylakoids enclose a space called lumen the stroma of the chloroplast contains enzyme required for the synthesis of carbohydrates and proteins it also contains small double stranded circular dna molecule and ribosomes chlorophyll pigments are present in the thylakoids the ribosomes of 8.5.6 ribosomes the ribosomes are the granular structure first observed under the electron microscope as dense particles by george palade they are composed of ribonucleic acid and proteins and are not surrounded by any membrane the eukaryotic ribosomes are ads while the prokaryotic chromosomes sorry prokaryotic ribosomes are 70s each ribosome has two subunits the larger and smaller subunits the two subunits of ads ribosomes are 60s and 40s while of 70s ribosomes are fit of the cell Point five point eight cilia and flagella. Cilia and flagella are hair-like outgrowths of the cell membrane. Cilia are small structures which work like oats, causing the movement of either the cell or surrounding fluid. Flagella are comparatively longer and responsible for the cell movement. The prokaryotic bacteria also possess flagella, but these are structurally different from the eukaryotic flagella. electron microscope study of a cilium or the flagellum show that they are covered with plasma membrane their core called the axoneme possesses a number of microtubules running parallel to the long axis the axoneme usually has nine doublets of radially arranged peripheral microtubules and a pair of centrally located microtubules such an array 
arrangement of attic 0.5.9 centrosome and centrioles centrosome is an organelle usually containing two cylindrical structures called centrioles they are surrounded by amorphous pericentriolar material both the centrioles and the centrosome lie perpendicular to each other in which each has organization like the heart wheel they are made up of nine evenly spaced peripheral fibrils of tubulin protein each of the peripheral fibrin is a triplet the adjacent triplet are also linked the central part of the proximal region of the centriole is also proteinaceous and called the hub which is connected with the tubules of the peripheral triplets by radial spokes made of protein the centrioles form the basal body of the cilia or flagella and spindle fibers that give rise to spindle apparatus during cell division in mammal cells 8.5.10 nucleus nucleus as a cell organelle was first described by robert brown as early as 1831 later the material of the nucleus stained by basic dyes was given the name chromatin by fleming the interface nucleus has highly extended and elaborate nucleoprotein fibers called chromatin nuclear matrix and one or more spherical bodies called nuclei electron microscopy has revealed that nuclear envelope which consists of two parallel membranes with a space called perinuclear space forms a barrier between materials inside the nucleus and that of the cytoplasm the outer membrane usually remains continuous with the endoplasmic reticulum and also bears ribosome on it a number of places the nuclear envelope is interrupted by minute pores which are formed by the fusion of two membranes these nuclear pores are the passages through which movement of rna and protein molecules take place in both directions between nucleus and the cytoplasm normally there is only one nucleus per cell variations in the number of nuclei are also frequently observed can you recollect some names of organisms that have more than one nucleus per cell some mature cells even lack nucleus example erythrocytes of many mammals and sieve tube cells of vascular plants would you consider these cells as living synthesis you may recall that the interface nucleus has a loose and distinct network of nucleoprotein fibers called chromatin but during different stages of cell division cells show structured chromosomes in place of the nucleus chromatin contains dna and some basic proteins called histones some histone proteins and also rna a single human cell has approximately 2 meter long thread of dna distributed among its 46 chromosomes you will study the details of dna packaging in the form of chromosome in class 12 Every chromosome essentially has a primary constriction or the centromere on the sides of a disk shaped structure called kinetochore. Mitocentric chromosome has middle centromere forming two equal arms of the chromosome. The submetacentric chromosome has centromere slightly away from the middle of the chromosome resulting into one shorter arm and one longer arm. In case of acrocentric chromosome the centromere is situated close to its end forming one extremely short and one very long arm whereas the telocentric chromosome has a terminal centromere sometimes a few chromosomes have non staining secondary constriction at a constant location this gives the appearance of a small fragment called the satellite 8.5.11 microbodies many membrane bound minute vesicles called microbodies that contain various enzymes are present both in plants and animals summary all organisms are made of cells or aggregate of cells cells vary in their shape size and activities or functions based on the presence or absence of membrane bound nucleus and other organelles cell and hence organism can be named as 
eukaryotic or prokaryotic. A typical eukaryotic cell consists of a cell membrane, nucleus and cytoplasm. Plant cells have a cell wall outside the cell membrane. The plasma membrane is selectively permeable and facilitates transport of several molecules. The endomembrane system includes ER, Golgi complex, lysosomes and vacuoles. All the cell organelles perform different but specific functions. Centrosome and centriole form the basal body of cilia and flagella that facilitate locomotion. In animal cells, centrioles also form spindle apparatus during cell division. Nucleus contains nucleoli and chromatin network. It not only controls the activities of cell organelles but also plays a major role in heredity. Endoplasmic reticulum contains tubules or cisternae. They are of two types, rough and smooth. ER helps in transport of substances, synthesis of proteins, lipoproteins and glycogen. The Golgi body is a membranous organelle composed of flattened sacs. The secretions of cells are packed in them and transported from the cell. Lysosomes are single membrane bound structures containing enzymes for digestion of all types of macromolecules. Ribosomes are involved in protein synthesis. They occur freely in the cytoplasm or are associated with the ER. Mitochondria helps in oxidative phosphorylation and generation of adenosine triphosphate. They are bound by double membrane. Other colored plastids are chromoplast which may contain pigments like carotene and xanthophyll. The nucleus is enclosed by nuclear envelope, a double membrane structure with nuclear pores. The inner membrane encloses the nucleoplasm and the chromatin material. 